Santa Bob is getting ready. From his glasses and belt, to his pants, suspenders, vest, and boots. Santa Bob loves bringing joy to the children of Uvalde. <laughs> and this year, more than any of the other 25 times he steered his sleigh through town, that joy isn't just wanted, but needed. You have the children that are kind of getting a dose of, well, you know, life is kind of merely messed up. Well, the truth is, no, it's not. And I think it's kind of part of my responsibility to make sure that they get to have fun. Can I pick you up? He's ready for the smiles. It's very, very hard to describe. It's, it's like they're looking at you instead they're looking in you. And they're just absolutely amazed. And he's ready for the possibility of tough Christmas wishes. The kind Santa can't grant. This is a prayer book. Comes in real handy when you have a child that uh, asks Santa, you know, to bring people back because uh, they passed away recently. I let them know that the very, very best thing is to hold them in your heart because they will live eternally. It's ho time! <laughs> it's got all of the makings of a sweet Santa story. But as it turns out, this Christmas tale has more curves than a candy cane. I've had liver disease for many, many years. It ultimately developed into liver cancer. I uh, received a call two or three o'clock in the morning. They said, okay, well, a liver has uh, been found and are you interested? You know, I looked at the wife and it's like, dang, how do you answer that? <laughs> a different liver for Santa Bob and a different kind of Christmas in Uvalde. So why not get some different digs? Thanks to donors across the state and beyond. Let's get the hoe on the road. Jolly old Saint Bob was gifted everything from head to toe, as well as 21 iron keys to represent the Robb Elementary School angels who aren't with us this Christmas. On May 24th, our small southwest Texas town lost its innocence, and that will never be repaired. It was great to see Santa Bob on the streets and amazing to see him above them. You, Valdi, I love you. But as heartfelt as it was to see him back doing what he loves, it's the message he has for the children. The same message he's been delivering for a quarter century that Uvalde really needed to hear this holiday. Well, Santa loves you very much. Say your prayers and help out around the house, okay? And I'm very, very proud of you. Merry Christmas, darling.